get security involved if needs be because again security yes again it is a site service rule so, uh, <laughs> you're funny it's funny mate right you're funny you are <laughs> I'm gonna, it's my job my lovely i'm gonna do it and also again it's our site rule so just because I'm filming and no, there's no one around, you're calling security? Oh yeah, my dog, there's a gentleman filming and he's uh, refusing to put his camera away. Are you alright just to come and give him a word with it, please, mate? Just in the entrance. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today, we're at Games Workshop, which is right next to this train line I'm not sure what line it is but yeah we're gonna take a look at games workshop which is in Nottingham Lenton in Nottingham it's uh, quite a massive site this one so there's gonna be lots to see and as you know it's the uh, the famous British manufacturer of miniature war games and this is its uh, head office in Nottingham and its best known products are the war ammo Age of Sigma and Warhammer 40,000 and it is listed on the stock exchange lots of lidded boxes down here all stacked up even got trams running that one's going to Hucknell we like looking in our skips don't we what we got just old um, racking from some sort of storeroom I think and a, an old conveyor belt sitting on top there. A few barrels and bits and bobs, nothing uh, out of the ordinary down here. Apart from, down there, there is a pallet of what looks like to be Games Workshop packets. And there's actually three pallets of them. I wonder what they are. got some sort of advertisement on the front I'm not too sure what they are but they're certainly too good to bin I think that's why they're left there hope they're going to be recycled into some sort of charity sales and then down here we've got lots of old keyboards and cables And there's another that's going to Totten Lane. It's good how the traffic lights go on red for it. <laughs> Tramway, it says. We don't have them where I'm from. Lots of those puzzle matting to make the surface, uh, the floor surface nice. And I wonder what's in that. That suspicious thing there, standing up. Is that some sort of statue? And you'll notice over there we've got Warhammer World. I presume that's uh, open to the tourists, open to the public. And we've got some nice artwork on the wall there. And you'll notice these uh, scooters. You're not supposed to ride them on the pavement, but they're just for road use. And you just uh, scan the barcode, download the app, on this one I've actually done it it's Apple pay but you do have to scan your driving license to verify your ID and it cost me one pound thirty to travel to here from where I parked the car five minutes down the road down there one pound thirty not bad so it spreads all the way down here so we'll have a further walk around and see what we can find and then we come to the visitors car park which uh, points into that direction down there and I presume this is where the tourist part of the building is Warhammer world let's stick to the pedestrian walkways eh and let's go and see what we can find interesting so as we get closer we come across one of these space marine statues and this one says tactical marine k7 power armor plasteel and there's some sort of gun there mentioned i'll let you read that 
but we did notice one of these at um, East Midlands Parkway as well, where they've got the distribution centre, the warehouse. But they didn't have one of these there. One of these tanks. Please do not climb on the Rhino. And that's what it's called, Space Marine Mark II Rhino. An armoured personal carrier. So for those that can't make it to Nottingham to see what's around, but are interested in Games Workshop in there, this is what they've got outside. And that's the offices across the road and more offices and manufacturing up that area. And I'm not going in because <laughs> you would have to pay and I've not booked or paid or anything like that. But that's what it looks like inside. I mean, oh, is this all just open without paying, is it? Uh, can't film it. Can't film? All oh, right, okay, mate. I'll just do it from just there. No, you can't film it. Sure, you can. Just not, not inside. Sorry. Huh? I'm really sorry, you can't film at all. No, I, I, get, I get the rule if you step in. You're on, you're on our site. So you oh, do you want me to leave? No, but if you're filming, unfortunately, you can't film on site. Yeah, okay. <laughs> What we do, we go around places filming, but if they don't want us to film, they yeah. can ask us to leave. It's just one of those things, unfortunately, again, it's a site rule. Photos are absolutely fine, it's just no video. Yeah, I never stop recording, so um, oh, if, if there is some... Then, yeah, unfortunately, you won't be able to come inside. Yeah, so... It's just for, it's for basically, safety rules around filming children, because we yeah, don't it, children I've, in here. Yeah. If there was any children in here, I certainly wouldn't want to film, if, I, but I I, I've done a quick... I understand, sir, but honestly, it's a case of we, we can't... Like yeah, no problem. No, I understand it. I understand it. Yeah. Obviously, when I come to an interesting place like this for the viewers to see, yeah. hopefully they get a positive oh, experience. No, I, I, again, I, and I do understand when there's it. when there's somebody saying you can't film and there's no children around, you know, there's no obvious reason for not filming, then it just looks a bit bad. That's all. But well, no problem. It's all, our, it's all our company policy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so it's just a case of again, we can't break it for any reason. Yeah, no problem, mate, no problem. Again, it's not in the minute, but in, in a case of when they do, well, then, again, they can't give their consent for it, so... Yeah, well, there's no children here. That's why I've carried on filming and pointed it around. Um, if there is um, a real reason that you shouldn't well, film... I can, I can get security involved, if need to be, because, again... Security? Is, yes, again, it is a site service rule, but, uh, <laughs> You're funny. It's funny, mate, right? You're funny, you are. <laughs> I'm going to... It's my job, my lovely. I'm going to do it. And also, again, it's our site rule. So just because I'm filming and there's no, there's no one around, you're calling security? Oh yeah, there's a gentleman filming and he's uh, refusing to put his camera away. Are you alright just to come and give him a word with it, please, mate? Just in the entrance. Thank you, Ducky. See you later. No worries. I did say to you that if you want me to leave the site, that's not I a problem. I also stated that, again, it's a site rule. You are allowed on site. I'm not asking you to leave, but I'm asking you to stop filming. Yeah. So but you... if you're unwilling to stop filming, then again, you're going to have to leave. Yeah, so have you asked me to leave yet? Well, again, I'm, I'm not saying you have to leave. I'm saying you have to stop filming. Okay, let's you get... You don't have to physically leave if you stop filming. Okay. So if you stop filming, you are more than welcome to stay here. But if you won't stop filming, then you will have to leave, yes. When you work on a private site like this, okay. you can ask somebody to leave, okay, but you I'm not, I'm not no. Asking you to leave. I'm but, asking you to stop filming. But you and can't you can't ask them to stop filming, but you can ask them no, to I, leave. I, I, I can. Okay, well you can't well, force. Please, them. please, please have a word with our, our site. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they'll, they'll be more than willing to help. Is it there. these? Is it behind there? Yeah, exactly. Those two there. They'll be able to sort of Yeah, yeah. But again, honestly, you're more than welcome to stay if you, if you want to stop filming. But apart from that, again, yeah, yeah. You're well, well you're I'm only right here. I'm only here for the sole purpose of making a video today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Hi. Yeah. Hello. Hi. What's happening? You filming me right now? Well, I've come here today to make a video about the place. Now, if there is any members of the public around, especially children, I will not be filming. Yeah, yeah. But there clearly isn't. So I'm just trying to have a conversation with your colleague. Yeah, sure, yeah, you, need, now, you, just, you just need permission, that's all. Yeah, is there any signs around to tell people that they're not allowed to record? I believe there is. As yeah. as you go further Could up, you yeah. show me one? Yeah. I could, well, can you stop recording? And yeah, if you show me a sign that I sh There you go. Right there. Well, why wasn't that on display? It is on display. It's here. Why wasn't it on display a moment ago? 
only the desk where you enter So, can you appreciate? Can you appreciate when members of the public are expected to ab abide by rules? Yes. They need to be told the rules. They need to be on I'm, display. I'm clearly told you the rules, and also we have the signage here expressing that there is camera allowed, but no video. And like I've stated, you are more than welcome to say if you stop filming. But if you don't stop filming, you won't be allowed on site. So do take photos for your personal, non-commercial yes, use. No, hold on, let me read it. Let me read it. No filming, recording, or live broadcast of any kind allowed on the on these premises. So is that on there? Is it? No, this, this is this is also our premises. Well. Right. So when when people walk into the gate, mm -hmm. is there not supposed to be a sign like that as you enter the premises, so well, that, that we know? That's something I can chase up with, with people above me. I, I wouldn't have that information. It's like you're you're leading us into this trap where we've, we've come in. We've, well, we've I totally get that, and I'll pass that. Yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll pass that forward. Once your colleague there says yeah. no filming allowed, I was actually here when he said it, and so what I did, I stepped backwards. Are you still filming now? Though? And I will continue to film well, you've, until you've seen, I leave right well you've been asked you've now seen a sign clearly stating not to film on our premises you've been asked by our colleague and by myself to stop filming and you're now you're not doing as as we've politely asked you to no. or I've politely asked you no, to no I don't I, because you, this is this is private property that you're on and we're, because we're politely asking you to when, stop filming when members of the public like myself travel yeah. a long distance to come sure. here sure. we check in advance on okay. Google Street View and we zoom in onto your entrance gates I, to see I, what yeah, signs you've got now because you didn't have any right. no filming yeah. or, or anything like that totally. we've travelled all this way sure. and now it's a, it's a disappointment and the I, viewers I, I, the I, viewers were looking forward to seeing what's publicly I, accessible I, here I, I, I understand that completely. So you spoilt I, it. I, I haven't. No, you, you, your your uh, lack of signage. It, again, it's not my lack of signage, it, um, and I completely understand what you're saying, and I will pass that on. Yeah, forward. thank you, thank but you. Please, can you now stop filming as we've, as we've asked? As a security guard. Yes. Well, first, first of all, are you SIA registered? Yes, I am. Where's your badge? My badge is just here. So you should know. It's just there, sir. You should know that you cannot ask a member of the public to stop filming but you can ask them to leave right yes. when they I can ask you to stop filming on no you can't property. from the moment you've asked them to leave yeah. they can continue recording sure. until they're off the premises and then they'll continue to recording while they're on public land you're not on you, public land like i said to you you can ask them to leave yes. that does not affect the recording recording will continue to maintain the evidence if anything gets right. done we, we, and it, we, we, you're on cctv as we speak yeah so. well that's for your benefit if I, if I want to do a subject access request for that footage yes. that's a bit of a hurdle for me so my camera remains rolling I, I, to I protect me and I, you I I, well i'm not i'm not bothered but it, it, it's, obviously you've been asked to stop filming you're on private property you've seen the signage i've, I've asked you my colleagues ask you yeah. So I'm politely asking you, would you please stop filming? You still not said the word. I've told you, you, you can't ask a member of the public to stop filming, but you can ask them to leave. Well, I don't want to ask you to leave. Well, that, you're forcing me to. You're going to have to. Well, can you please leave then? There you go. You've said it. And that's what, that's what we're here to, to highlight the things that are wrong. Now, no, I, no, if I, you're I, SIA I, registered, you do not ask people to stop recording. If they well, you can ask, right? But if they refuse, you then ask them to well, leave. I was trying to be nice and not ask you to leave. I didn't. I didn't. I don't want to ask anyone to. Your leave colleagues. Now. Your colleagues already asked me to yep. stop filming. Yep. I've declined. Yeah. Because on the basis that it wasn't, it, it wasn't visible yeah. at the entrance point. Yeah. All your rules that you want yeah. public to which, obey. Which I've agreed. I've not disagreed. Yeah. I will pass that let's let's on. walk and talk anyway, because I'm making my way out now. Well, yeah. I, I mean, like I say, I will pass it straight on what you said and I'll take it from there but uh, I didn't want to ask you to leave I don't well, want to well, ask anyone to leave you, ca you, you can't force somebody you can't force somebody to stop recording unfortunately you've made the situation out of my hands I have to ask you to leave yeah I'm going to stick to the footpaths are you, are you wanting me to walk across the car park or? no you can stick to the footpath I'll, I'll walk with you if you want me to or I'm happy to just watch you leave from here I don't whatever well, I, I, listen no. You've not been unprofessional, no. but you should have known better that you, you could pers persisted to ask somebody to stop filming. Well, that's what I would do before I'd ask anyone to yeah, leave. But so, so how long does that go on for? Because they say, no, I, I want, I've come here to make well, a video. It goes on until the point where I realise you're not going to yeah. stop filming and I have to ask you to leave. There you go, yeah. So you would have got there eventually. Of course I would, yeah. But, but like it's, I said, I didn't want to ask someone to leave. Yeah. So I'm not it's a shame. Person. So what I'll do now then, I'll, because I can't get the actual what you're selling merchandise store and stuff yeah, like that yeah. i can't get the footage i wanted to i'll just remain on the public footpath outside i have got a drone in my bag yeah. so i'm going to do an aerial uh, footage shot from above yeah nothing i can do is stop that or would want to stop that just like i say um, i'm sure that had um if if, if 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 an email 
if anything had happened in advance to arrange it, it could have been arranged. But members I don't of know. the public don't arrange things in advance on a, a public place. Yeah. Okay. But anyway, thank you for your time. I'll continue my uh, my video from the outside now. Pass on. Yeah, please. Because people are travelling here, especially to, to visit the place, and they want to share their experience with their audience. I'm going to go and do that right now, okay? Thank you. <clears throat> so we'll have a look um, where people come in. So say like if I was on foot and I was walking down this footpath here, along here, let's just check these signs just to back up what we've said. So you've got security there, contractors and deliverers, all about whether you're working here. You've got CCTV cameras in operation. They're operated by Games Workshop to assist in crime prevention. And there's nothing else, nothing else telling you from this point. So you're walking on, you're making your nice video, you get into the most interesting part, and then you're faced with that. And suddenly it pulls up a sign from underneath the counter to back up what he's saying. Well, I'm sorry, the sign needs to be on the front gate. Another nice statue there, look, outside the main entrance of the offices. So here we are at the uh, HGV entrance, right next to a little bit of a, a stream, a canal maybe. Nah, not a canal. Although it does say canal towpath, just there. A little flood defence stream, I think. I don't know what that is. If you can uh, work it out. What is it? I'm doing a you doing a video about uh, about the place. What you got in the back? Tools. Tools? Yes. Or oh, like um, tooling. Moldings. Moldings. Yeah. Tools. Yeah. 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 That makes sense. Yeah, it's like tooling for the product, what, and they inject like uh, plastic inside, injection moulding tooling. Yeah, yeah. All right, mate, nice one. That makes sense, don't it? Because all the, the products that they sell is like made out of plastic. So this, uh, this metal tooling thing here is what they have in two halves. And then the, uh, they squirt the, the hot plastic inside. It then forms the miniature figure. But it's interesting how they're not letting people in. Strange. Maybe they're already too busy inside there. But it's well protected and it's well out of sight. So we'll be using the drone for this one to have a look around. So let's go see what else we can find. So as we come right down to the end, we're on the other side of the fence, look. You can see where they unload the lorries in that canopy area. and it has got a turning point further down. But not much else really to see from this angle. So let's carry on. You don't see this every day, do you? All the water flowing under the tunnels there, or culverts, whatever you want to call them. And that's what it looks like inside. The tunnel is so long, you cannot even see any daylight. can through that one up there but not through there yeah look at that so games workshop have got quite a lot of buildings down this road you've got factory number two you've got the euro hub there and just down the way there we've got the staff car park so Factory number two, let's have a look. Vehicle waiting area. Looks like that's all vehicles are doing. Just waiting, trying to get in and out. How hard is it to get in this place? I've got no idea. First time I've ever seen this place. All I can see is vehicles waiting to get in. Yep. It's a shambles, isn't it? I've got no idea. 
emergency vehicles only, no parking. So if this is for emergency vehicles only, is it unlocked? And yes, it is. So it has got uh, a normal curb down there, no drop curb. But it's quite funny actually, because they've got a secure gate there, then they've got this barrier, and then they've got this gap here that any member of the public could just slip through and go in. And there is a couple of pallets on the floor there that look interesting. And then we come to the Euro Hub, and once again, it's not manned, it's all dealt with uh, via the intercom. And as you can see, their vehicle entry system isn't very good because there's just people waiting at that entrance and waiting at that entrance over there. So we can see lots of boxes that are full over in that direction. Loads of containers and trailers on the bays. The forklift doing nothing over there, a pallet truck and no activity at all. And it's only half 11, so it's not even lunchtime. And in the corner there, we can see the suspected product pile. Whether it's uh, stuff that's not being sold anymore, or, or the rejects, or the returns. I've no idea. But definitely product left outside to the elements. So I've checked on the drone assist app. It's all clear to fly. So let's go and have a look around from the sky with David, the drone assisted visual information detective.
So that was the drone footage. We got really close to that uh, big pile of products over there. What a shame, eh? What a waste. I'm sure there's plenty of charities that will appreciate all that dead stock. But uh, it is what it is. We certainly can't get anywhere near it. So let's go see what else we can find before we finish the video off. The grounds are really nice and well kept. I mean, look at the trees there, look. Sculptured, like pieces of art. And they've got these nice benches on the front when the weather's nice for the staff. But apart from that, I've got no other issues with Games Workshop. It is a shame they are leaving all that product out in the rain to get destroyed. Why wasn't it just donated straight away? Why is it sitting there? That's the only thing I can pick on. So I'll leave this one here, guys. If you have enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up for me and I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye for now.